think I found that collectors are most interested in relationship. Um, young artists need to understand that they're not selling a product. It's a very big difference between a painting or a sculpture or a piece of music, whatever art form it is, that it is treated as what I would call an artifact or an example of one's personal, genuine authenticity. If you're thinking in terms of product, then maybe you should try to close in a business deal. Uh, but that's not the realm of the art world. In, in art, you don't close. In art, you listen, you interpret, you laugh and experience, and you create relationship. And as a result of that, painting sales follow. And it's one painting at a time. And if I'm in the presence of a collector, I'll know by virtue of the way they're asking the question. I'll know what kind of people they are. And if that's the case, then my responses to them are tailored in that direction. But I'm not interested in closing. I'm interested in, in having fun and having a relationship. I'd say that um I'm, I'm always profoundly struck with how wealthy the United States is and how many collectors or buyers of your art there really are. An artist never has to worry about, you know, spotting a collector in the gallery and going towards them and thinking about business. At that point, you've put your whole life, uh, your soul on the wall. You don't have to be in the room in order for yourself to be in the environment, if the, if the work doesn't sell itself or reach or touch people, then you're doing something wrong. Um, I, I think uh, I would say to the, to the idea of authenticity, I mean, that word is used an awful lot, but you do really have to come from a place of where you're so into what you're doing that it's contagious somehow, that, that the uh, potential buyer or collector or whoever feels that. I think there's energy that comes off of a wall sometimes if you're a two-dimensional you know, artist. I would say to the artists who don't have big personalities, who are even introverted, who have lovely uh, lives and work and something to say, that collectors, if somebody buys a piece of your work, they are so thrilled to be involved in your life somehow if they really love the work. And that an artist can simply they don't have to be throwing big parties or walk into a room and look like a superstar. An artist can send out uh, a beautiful letter. And collectors keep letters. I know they do because they've shared that with me. You know, Or a little sketch that you just gift them in a nice box or something that they receive. They feel appreciated too. And then that, I don't know, that just works. But that's just being a nice human.